Hey guys. Um, Nightcore Reptiles back again. We're um, doing a little thing. I'm starting about about where we left off. Um, I seen this dude was going when I logged back into the game and I was like, might as well start the video back up. Um, no, I'm not changing this into a gaming channel. I just don't have anything with reptiles to do right now. I'm waiting for the eggs to hatch from death. Um, she did just pass away in about a couple hours ago, but she laid four egg sacs, which, since she was wild, that is pretty much a really good sign that she was going to pass. Um, my wolf spider rose, she molted, I did a video on that, that was nice. Um, Siren's enjoying her cage, she got some nice fat tail, she's been eating nice. Nibbler enjoying his new setup, how I set up and showed you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm missing every shot here. Uh, let's see. Chase this dude down. These guys are like these, uh, um, I had to supply people for the other people on this game. And you have to catch them and take their stuff. So, and they can dodge and move really good. If you guys do hear any music in the background, it's just me dealing with the anxiety. So, sorry about that. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me put them on fire. Oh, that's probably because I'm uh, sprinting. Yeah. I'll shoot them here. Right there. Nice, let's just double tap that. I knew he was dead, but you know, I ain't taking no chances. He ran long enough. Um, this is basically an unedited cut of what I'm going to be doing. I won't be editing this all too much. I'll be doing it in broken parts, but they're mostly going to morph into each other unless it's a big, huge, boring part. Then I'll tell you, hey, go on to the next section. But other than that, if you see a pause menu or something, that's because I had to pause it. Or... Yeah, you have to pause it so you can switch out the um, video. Because you only do five minute clips of each. This shouldn't be too long of a video, 10, 20 minutes or so. If you guys like this kind of thing, I can do other games. I have Doom, I have Fallout 4. I beat Fallout 4, I can do a Doom campaign thing. I'm only on the basically third, fourth mission on that. Or I can do a long line multiplayer Doom. I got Halo 5, I can do I got Borderlands 2, I got a bunch of different games. So, any games that you guys say, if I have it, I'll play it. As simple as that. Um, leave a QA. and a it means just questions, and I give you guys answers. You just produce any questions you guys have of my life, about anything. You guys just let all the questions go in the comments. I have 56 subscribers, so I, I want at least 20 to 25 questions. I've asked for this before in my other videos. I get like two or three and there's just no reason to do a whole video based off of two to three questions. It's just going to be boring. That's what I was talking about doing to the other dude. I wanted to light him on fire but it didn't kind of work. Because when you light someone on fire, it like will leave a tracking trail but it also spreads really fast in this game. It's everywhere. So, this dude and it's a nice headshot. Of course that was really close range. Walk around real quick. I'm going to run up here. Um, jump up here. And Check up here. Oh, there's a dude. Same as down. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Ooh. Oh, he didn't fall off. That would have been pretty cool if he fell off and died. Uh, this game, it's really hard to do, like, really bad fall damage. If you just jump straight off a cliff, yeah, you're gonna die. But if you slide down the cliff, 90% of the time, you're gonna live. Um, again, this is Far Cry Primal. Great game. Outstanding graphics, as you guys can tell. I don't know if it picks up on the video but from what I can see but I'm watching it through the Xbox one like editor from when I do it and I'm playing it from what I see it's it's beautiful even on the editor I haven't checked it out on my phone because I don't watch my own videos on my phone but if it doesn't look good just tell me but I I like this I wanted to do a gaming channel back when I was younger but you know dreams die and I'm figured reptile channel it's something I I'm going to be in for a while. 
I'm always going to be into reptiles, exotic animals, so I might as well just do a YouTube channel. People like it, they sub, they don't. Doesn't matter, I'm still producing videos to keep track of my own life. I'll be able to go back to my first video I produced on YouTube and look at it and be like, this is where I started in the reptile community. And then I'll be like 60 and I'll have a video I upload and that's where I came. I came from here, I got here. That's what I'm doing. I'm documenting everything I can in my life. Because I want to be able to have evidence of what my life holds. Now there is stuff you can't catch on camera. But that's just part of life. Once I move out and I got even when I get my GoPro going, I'm gonna get a chip for it. I'm gonna go hiking. I'm, I'm, I got a lot of things planned with that GoPro. You can go underwater with them, it's gonna be amazing. Of course not all of them are gonna have talking in it. And if you guys are okay with that, then I'm gonna do a lot of those where I don't talk or anything. It's gonna be underwater footage and different things like that. Which I think would be fun for you guys. Um I plan on handlining a shark or something. Hopefully if I can do it during shark season, which is in like a couple months. But I haven't had any luck with sharks yet, but I've only fished down here. Like, I fish down here like every year, basically. Like, we always took a vacation down here. But this is my first year actually moving down here. Last year we moved down here and the fishing wasn't too great. It was a real crappy year for fishing, like everybody was even talking about it, so. I wasn't surprised when I didn't catch one last year. But... I caught a big drum and I wish I would have recorded it because it was bending my little tiny pole because it bit on my little pole when I didn't have my big pole with me. But I got a sea slug, sea centipede or something like that. I got a video of that on there, so if that's something you guys should check out. Uh, I know I'm kind of just jumping around on topics here. This is just this is me playing video games. I, I just think of everything. This is how I cool down, control my anxiety, just turn on the music and play video games. I mean, a lot of people can do that. You get free time, that's what you should do. Just find something that works for you. I'm not saying video games and music is going to work for you, but that's what works for me. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this stuff, then I suggest leaving a like, so I know you guys like it. Or comment, hey, I like this. Keep it up. And I'll keep doing some videos like this. Recommend different games like I was talking about. Or even recommend things out of the place. I I can do different things. Just mention what you guys want. Um let's see. Uh we'll go up here. Um I'll probably cut the video somewhere along in here. Um because that's that's a pretty long ways. If I don't cut the video then it's gonna be like a pretty decent long video. But I don't know if I want to. I'll just stay here and talk to you guys. Uh, that, that that is a fish. Um, I forgot about those. Um, be careful when you're swimming in the waters. Holy crap! That's a uh, that's a friendly. That was a lot of mammoths. Uh, let's see. Go up here. Grab this. Yeah, you're always collecting wood and stuff. Anytime you see something in this game, you gotta collect the wood, you gotta collect the rocks, because that is the stuff you use. Well, that's a long grapple. Ugh. Um. This would be fun to do. If someone could actually go rock climbing like this, that would be fun to do. That would be energizing. Imagine the skill it would actually take to do this. I'm pretty sure they didn't do this back in the olden days, but you never really know. Oh, man, I think they were just smacking some rocks together. Uh, that's that's if you believe in evolution. I'm not stepping on anybody with religions and stuff. I believe they both decide because science only covers so much, and there's still thousands of mysteries. Because a lot of the stuff we know today in science is all based off of theories and hypotheses. A theory is something that we have a bunch of evidence on, but we don't have any hard facts that would be like. Say you have the exact link in between a species, that would be what they need to consider like scientific fact. Until then, it's just theories like saying um, uh, apes like chimpanzees and humans had a common ancestor. 
we think this because we share 98 to 99% of our DNA with them. Uh, we just switched the clip real quick. Um, uh, okay. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Um, 98 to uh, 99% shared with chimpanzees. I had to do voiceovers over the things. But anyway. Uh, what was it? Forget now, but anyway, you guys get the gist of what I was saying. I'm not the brightest person in the world. I don't think anybody holds that right to be called the brightest person because there's always someone out there that's brighter, even if they're not in the papers and everything. Um, just like that one dude who was in Africa, he was a genius. The uh, government refused to pay for uh, electricity and fresh water into his town, so he built the windmill. A windmill by himself, studied it himself from old books and everything. Um, well, I'll start talking about the game here in a minute. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, come in here, uh, ask questions in the comments, just whatever you guys want, because I'll play any game, do voiceover over it. Let's try to get this headshot. Oh, that was a nice one. Let's try to get this headshot. Nope, missed that one. Come on. There we go, got that headshot. I wish what you could do is you could pick up their spears after they throw it to you, but you can't. It sucks. You have to make all your own stuff, and it's so time-consuming, but that's what makes this game fun. If they can make a game like this, but a survival, I think it would be one of the best games ever. If you guys know a game like that, where it's like exactly like this, but with survival, that'd be amazing. Okay, we're gonna take this camp right here. That was a headshot. There's a headshot. This is when I was really getting into the game. Um, get that one. That's why I like carrying a bear with me, because he'll go up there and he'll he'll tank the damage. <laughs> I might be seeming like a monster for killing all the women and stuff, but when you're conquering a place, you kill everyone. You don't let anybody survive from the previous culture. Because if someone survives from the previous culture, that leaves questioning towards you, and it can cause riots and everything else. I know it's just a game, but that's, that's what it is. That's when people talk about the genocide between the Indians. We were the conquering force. You're not gonna do anything. They were killing us just as much as we were killing them. We had superior weapons. I'm all over the place in this video, so I'm sorry about that, guys, but... This is, this is what you get. Uh, I talk about almost everything. I, I try to keep on one topic, usually, but yeah, you guys can see I'm everywhere. So, so don't hate too much. A little hate. A little hate is okay. I, I enjoy a little hate. There's that one conquered. Um, we'll try to get one more before the end of the thing. If anything, I'll skip through a little bit. Uh, let's run around here real quick. Um, oh yeah, I remember this part. <laughs> let's just make it clear that I'm an animal lover. But... These guys are bad. I'm gonna just feed my little. I was using saber tooth, not a bear, through this one. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a lover. And I wasn't expecting that to break, so this was a real monstrous act. I was trying to burn him, which turns out to be bad. I should have just shot him with an arrow. You seen how he got away? Well, you just wait. You just wait. I, I think it got it caught into a video. There we go, I caught it in the video. He killed one of my civilians. He came back for revenge because I lit him on fire. Well, I'll take that pelt from you. Uh, I'm going to run up here. And I was looking around to see what was going on. You can see the uh, checkpoint I'm going to. That's another camp. I just said, like I said, I was going to hit another one. We're going to hit one more. This is where I was changing out one. Flip. Um... Try to hit that dude. You see the dude with the checkpoint? I was trying to get him mainly. I didn't care about anybody else because I have the <laughs> that cool slow motion. But I kind of panicked on this. So I was like all over the place. And he kind of took me off. You see the teabag and he's teabagging me right there. He's teabagging the air to symbolize him getting away. So I stab him multiple times. And then it, this game's kind of glitchy on some of these points where it doesn't let you collect stuff as much. Um, you can see the cold bar in the top, That there's cold areas where you need fire. I, you can light an arrow on fire and just walk around with it and it'll be fine. 
which is weird. I was trying to look for my spear when I was running through here. And then I was um, pausing it so I could switch over to the next clip, which is coming up right now, which is going to be the village taking over. And then on this right here, I was like, well, I'm going to show them the owl because I've been, I tried to do it earlier, but I was out of range. Um, this is going to be a 16 minute video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'd like to just do a gameplay where I'm just uh, talking a little bit and mostly music and just walking through. If that's fine with you guys, tell me. That's what I would rather do. Because when I'm talking like this, it's like I'm just like rambling all over the place. Remember to leave a like and comment. Um, like I said, questions, answers. If I don't know the answers to your questions, I'll look them up. But I'm not going to look up just one spot because that's just dumb. Anybody who looks up one location of website and that's all they do, then they can't say they really research what you were asking them. Uh, what you got to do to take these camps, you got to light that right on fire. And then that's going to signal that. But if you light that on fire before you kill everybody, it won't work. You got to kill everybody and light that on fire. But anyway, like I said, if you're going to search up one destination to study reptiles, like say you want to get into leopard geckos, you should be working on t tons of care sheets, looking at every possible thing you can. Even after you get the animal, I'm constantly looking up new research and everything for mine. But that's all the time we have now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment. Uh, like and subscribe. Like we're out.